टुडे इज विजयादशमी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मोमेंट टुडे इज द डे वेन लॉन्ग टाइम आई गो डेवी एनेग्रेटेड ऑल द असुरस दोज नेगेटिव टेंडेंसीज विच आर विद इन अस द असुरस आर नॉट आउट देर द असुरस आर इन अस वेन एवर वी आर ग्रिप बाय नेगेटिविटीज वी आर हैविंग एन ऑनस्लॉट ऑफ द असुरस it's a beautiful term because we love to project things and personify them that is the only way we can slowly start understanding abstract concepts don't work for us therefore it's very essential and very useful but we need to remember that the asuras are in us and the devatas are also in us and it is here that the war is going on and in the saptashati mother has promised whenever there is a problem she will come that is her promise of course when she makes her promise she is going to keep it but you also need to be able to connect to her she cannot come if we don't call her she cannot come if we close the doors if we close the doors and say that i have closed my eyes and i say oh it's all dark i cannot see anything who is going to be able to help us we have to move the hands away and open our eyes so grace does come but grace is insufficient without personal effort and the moment personal effort comes in grace will start modifying the quality and uplifting us but tell, as long as we don't make the personal effort nothing is possible that is something which is very very crucial that we need to remember be it devi or be it shri ram the story is the same today is also the day when shri ram finally vanquished varna i had mentioned earlier that in the end he hits the arrow at the nabhi when you want to kill a person you would shoot at the heart or at the throat or in the brain now what is this hitting in the nabhi because that was the place where the attachment was and due to this attachment those heads even if they were being chopped off they were coming back and they were coming back and they were coming back very much like the story of ratta bija and to get rid of that you need to kill the attachment that is the sadhana the moment that happens the ten headed demon is defeated who is this ten headed demon the five karmendriyas five gnanendriyas make up ten he was not a freak of nature who had ten heads lined up no this is a depiction of the five karmendriyas five gnanendriyas and 20 hands are the positive and negative aspects of these gnanendriyas and karmendriyas here sita is the jivatma which is stuck which is kidnapped by the karmendriyas and the gnanendriyas and she is helpless and it is the divine who frees the jivatma but for that sita ji had to do lot of tapasya so the jivatma has to do lot of tapasya then the ten headed ravana can be 
wished. And then the Jivatma meets the Paramatma. That is the symbolism of Jayadash. And that is also the symbolism, that is also a hope that we will overcome. No matter how difficult, no matter how impossible it appears, we can overcome. Look at the story of Sri Ram. For some time, now imagine that he was not a divine soul, but he was a normal human being. What happened to him? Oh, he was being given the best possible reward. Crown prince. And all the celebrations are in full swing. That moment, he was kicked out unceremoniously. Keep everything away. Just with two cloths, walk off. If it were us, we would have gone and we would think of suing the king and uh, if not, we will uh, want to commit suicide or whatever. But what did he do? He said, okay, I go to the forest. But he did not just go. He was supposed to go as a mendicant. Why did he carry his bow and arrow? He should have taken a begging bowl, a bhiksha patra and just go. No. He said, my dharma is the dharma of Akshatriya. Akshatriya is one who protects. He went and protected the subjects. And he utilized this for this challenge and converted it into an opportunity. Ravana was the biggest terrorist of the times. And do you know that the that Ayodhya is not the real name of the capital? The real name is Kosalapuri. Ayodhya became the name because they had signed a no war treaty with Ravana. And that is why Ravana attacked everybody, but they, he did not attack Dasharat. And therefore, as long as Rama was the representative, official representative, he could not attack Ravana. The moment he was exiled, he was he stepped out from all his official responsibilities. He used that as an opportunity. And for 14 years, he prepared everything. He went out alone, he and his brother and Sita. He generated an entire army out of nowhere. Not only that, he inspired hundreds and thousands who would die for him. And then he destroyed the evil, restored karma, correct behavior, and came back. That is the lesson we need to learn in our life. Let us not crib about the small difficulties we are facing. Rather, let us pray, O Shri Ram, O Ma Janaki, give me the strength to respond in the same manner as you responded. They are not there only to be kept on the altar and you do Aarti once a day or once a month or once a year. No, they are there because they have lived a life. Let us pray to them that you give the strength that I also live the life in the same manner. Whatever be the difficulty, whatever be the challenge which comes, let me find a way out how I can harness that challenge and make it into an opportunity. Ram's father, nobody remembers. Ram's children, nobody remembers. Okay, some people might remember. Go three generations up and three generations down, nobody will remember. Most of them were good kings. But nobody remembers. They only remember Sri Ram. Why? 
because he was one who made something which was impossible what we call as mission impossible he made it possible that is why so if we want success if we want name fame and adulation don't run after name fame and adulation run after challenges and use and convert those challenges into opportunities and do something good for others and for yourself and then name fame money adulation everything will come after us we don't have to go running behind them they will come after us that is the story of sri ram that is the lesson we need to learn on this day of vijayadashmi today was the day when sri ram vanquished bana today is the day when devi vanquished the asuras today is the day when there is an upsurge of positivity let us bring that in let that be our inspiration and in our own way small little way in the small challenges we face for sri ram this challenge might be nothing but for me this is a 100% challenge as big as what ravana was for sri ram so let me overcome these in the same manner as sri ram had and i am i can assure you then you don't need to sit down with your eyes closed their grace follows immediately that is worshiping in one is worshiping in puja in meditation and one is worshiping in action and today we need to realize that is what we need to do shri ram did not sit down and okay i am going to do meditation i am going to pray oh lord please help me please destroy this please do that see he has taken away my wife she has kidnapped it now what will i say back home everybody is going to laugh at me he did not just sit down he kept on doing kept on doing when everything was lost still he kept on doing that is how we have to do look at devi she is jagadamba she all her powers are there with her she did not just you know uh, use the mantra and uh, kill the danavas she went to war why did is why is it mentioned that she went to war she undertook action same way we also need to undertake action and when we undertake action then we have a change until and unless we don't undertake action we don't have a change and that is why action is most important but how to convert action into worship that is the secret which yoga teaches us yoga says yoga ha karma su kaushalam bhagavad gita says yoga ha karma su kaushalam perfection in action is yoga and when you have that then you have connection with the divine energy and the grace flows you, you don't then need to sit down and do 108 malas or uh, you have to do this that the other no 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 that is one thing this is the other thing there are multiple ways how we can reach that divinity but we need to make a beginning and today is one of the most auspicious days in the indian calendar and let this be the day that we offer our humble pranams to shri ram maryada purushottam shri ram and also to mahishasura mardini and let their blessings shower upon us strengthen every step that we take improve the quality of our understanding improve the quality of our actions and improve the connection with them so that our lives are enriched creativity goes high 
abilities go high, we have satisfaction, we have contentment, we have let that be our prayer. And with this, let's conclude our short, sweet, little Navratri. Ariyom, Satsat, Munarayan. Thank you.